Hello, this is Amaros, and welcome to our How It Works series. Today we're covering Thermal Expansion's Cache. It is used for storing items. We are currently running Minecraft version 1.7.10 and thus Thermal Expansion 4 Beta. Now this is a new item for Beta. There isn't any documentation out there, so I figured I would cover it real quick in our How It Works series. So, we have our basic cache, hardened cache, reinforced cache, and resident cache. And the basic holds 10,000 items, hardened holds 40,000, reinforced holds 160,000, and resident cache holds 640,000 items. And to make these, you just have a simple piece of wood, unprocessed, so it's not planks or anything, just your normal wood that you would chop, and you have it surrounded by tin ingots. To make the next one up, the hardened cache, you would surround a basic cache with invar ingots, or you could build it from scratch with the wood surrounded by tin, surrounded by the invar in the corners, and you'll make your hardened cache. As you can tell, these are very similar to strong boxes. The next one, as you may have guessed, is a hardened cache, so the one down, surrounded by hardened glass. To make the resonant cache, you just have the reinforced cache, surrounded by enderium ingots. This one's certainly more expensive to make. Now, for how much 10,000 items is, I give you this. This is a pretty standard item hopper chest combination to make a silo. This holds just over 10,000 items, if they're stacks of 64, that is. These can hold both stacked items and non-stackable items. So you can put redstone dust in here, that kind of stuff, or the non-stackables like water bottles, and it can hold 10,000 of those. So these are really, really nice for things like the water bottles and bows and those non-stackable items. Now, I did try to do some vanilla stuff with these to see how it worked, and you can item hopper things into these caches just fine. I tried to item hopper out and it only extracts the 64 or 1 item depending on how it stacks at all. You would have to pop it off with a, a crescent hammer and a right click to get it to and then reset it to get it to actually extract another stack worth of the item. So Vanilla stuff it does not work very well with. I'm not sure if it's because it's a beta or if it's intended. But until we get some more documentation, that's kind of how it is right now. I have tried some Buildcraft stuff. And unfortunately, Buildcraft only extracts one stack as well. So if we had the lava buckets, it would extract one lava bucket only. And we'd have to pop and reset it in order to get this cache to actually start extracting again. So, I have tested it with Ender.io and it does extract properly from Ender.io so that's definitely going to be a mod that you have to get in order to pull items out until the beta is further along and they update how that works. I'm assuming that right now it's just a unimplemented feature or unimplemented compatibility. So I'm hoping they get that you know, done soon so we can do it with some cheaper stuff because these Ender IO pipes are very expensive requiring an Ender Pearl to make. So definitely a mod that's a must-have if you're going to be using these caches in your builds. So how to set an item for this. Let's go ahead and set it with our oak wood. We would just simply have the item on our hotbar there and right click and it throws the item into the cache and also sets it if there is nothing in it already. So if we wanted to continue putting more of our oak in here we could just have another stack and right click and it goes right in. Now if we wanted to extract the item out 
we could just do a left click with our uh, crescent hammer and it extracts a nice stack at a time here. Now if you extract all of the stacks out of your cache it actually goes blank again and you can load it with whatever other type of item you would like. So right here we have a nice little build craft setup. We have our little filter here. We have oak going into the middle, redstone going off to the right, and we have water bottles going off to the left here. And as you can see, I've already put some redstone and water bottles in there, but we haven't put an item on there. So if we go ahead and throw in, say, a couple of those, you'll see them come up the pipe and they'll hit this filter here and go right into the middle and you'll see it automatically sets the icon on the front here showing you what's in it and it does accept the wood. Now if this was a different type of wood that we were going to put in the filter here it would not go into the cache and it would pop out so something to be aware of make sure that only the item that you're wanting to go into the cache goes into it or else it will not load into the cache so that is pretty much it so if you have liked this how it works go ahead and hit the like button be sure to leave a comment of other how it works that you would like to see and we will see you on the next one